so it's time for dinner and i don't know if you guys can tell from the sound of my voice but i think i'm getting sick and it's literally the end of the rotation where i have my eor coming up and also it's just like the worst timing ever because there's just things coming up but besides that i like kind of commend myself for not being sick this entire rotation since i've been seeing literally sick kids every single day with strep throat viral infections things like that i chugged a whole bottle of emergency today i just not that hungry um but i have to eat dinner so i made some soup well this is the rest of the sundubu so i'm just gonna have the liquid and then i also steam some eggs and i'm not gonna eat the whole thing because there's a lot of food but I didn't really want to eat rice or have ramen, um, so this is what I'm going to have. And hopefully later I'll drink some hot tea and I'll feel a little bit better. But I really feel like I'm getting sick and you can probably hear it in my voice. Good morning guys, I look rough. My right ear literally is clogged. I cannot hear out of it, I don't know what that is, but I just got back from the store. Let me blow my nose because that might help. Literally nothing came out. I was right, I am getting sick and the like sore throat just got 10 times worse. I think on Monday when I go back to the office, I'm gonna test myself for strep or I'm gonna have one of the students test me because my throat is on fire and I, I don't know, I've never felt that before. And also I feel like it's moving up now because I sound a little nasally and then also my head is pounding. So, um, and I'm getting like this like shooting pain in the back of my head. Love that. I was so ready to tackle on today and tomorrow with my studying, but um, I guess life has different plans for me. <laughs> I had to go to the store because I needed to buy some stuff. Um, since I'm moving out next week, I was really trying to have as minimal amount as groceries as possible. But I guess when you're sick, can't really order out that much because everything outside is not super great for like a sore throat um so i had to pick up some extra chicken broth i'm on my last one right now and i'm like almost three quarters of the way done so i wanted to make some soup i had to get some extra cough drops i have an open pack of these already but i don't know if it's gonna last me until the whole week so I picked up an extra bag. I got some lemons. I'm gonna try to cut them up and make like this concoction with honey just to soothe the throat because it's so bad. Like I don't even understand how a virus can cause this amount of pain. Um, and then lastly, this is just probably for like emergencies, but I got some medicine. So this is um, daytime, non-drowsy, cold, multi-symptom. It has acetaminophen, dextromethorphan, and phenylephrine in it. Also, wafenesin. I got the daytime version because if I need to drive, then I can use this and not have to worry about being drowsy and whatnot. We've been up for way too long, but I don't guys i'm here to pick up the donuts so we're gonna go in get that and then head to the office for today the order was there he just said that it took me a while to come but the weird thing is like i ordered it and they never told me to come pick it up so what i plan to do is oh it's closed um what i plan to do is write like a little message on a piece of paper and then stick that onto the box when I get to the office. Ta-da! Oops, one already took a donut. Hi guys, so I just got back to the house. Um, I don't know why I was, I felt okay this morning, but then I feel like me going to the office just made me more tired and um my throat still hurts um my eyes are watering now and i um have more of a post nasal drip so 
my symptoms are getting worse. But the good thing is I retested for COVID, that was negative. I tested for flu today, it was negative. And I also tested for strep and it was negative. So whatever I have, oh, I also tested for RSV and that's also negative. Um, so basically I just have a virus and it's gonna take its own course and hopefully it's gone by Thursday because that's when I'm taking my EOR. But today was my last day with my preceptor and um, he gave me a hug and honestly, I'm gonna miss him and this office. I feel like it was such a small, close-knit office and everyone kind of knew each other. I really liked that feeling and um, like I said, as a student, I had a lot of autonomy here, which I really, really enjoyed. I think it really did help me get more comfortable interviewing patients, um, even if they were kids. You know, it made me a lot more comfortable interviewing the parents as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and eat dinner and try to sleep early because this whole thing is just not it. I don't know if you guys remember, but this is a different day and that guy is just standing like at the corner again um and i feel like he just stands there and like watches things but i don't really know where he comes from <laughs> guys i am headed back to my home last couple of days i haven't really gotten that great of a sleep so i think that's why it's taking my body a little bit longer to fight this illness and also this is the first time i've been sick since covid started so it's been a long time but today's weather is really nice right now it's about 53 degrees so i'm headed back and yeah, this was a very nice experience, I think. It allowed me to really see what it was like to adult on my own and stuff like that. So I will let you know when I'm back home. All right, so I'm home. Um, I just moved everything back into my room. And like I promised, I'm gonna show you guys the wireless keyboard that I got on um, Tamu. And the reason why I got this was because I've always been looking at the Apple, um, I think it's called the Magic Keyboard. I'm not really sure if that's the correct name, but it's the one that's magnetic and you kind of stick your iPad onto it. Um, but it's close to like $200, $300 and I just... I literally couldn't do that because this iPad itself is almost 600 but I wanted a case where I have a keyboard and so that's why I purchased this one. I really hope this fits because they mentioned that it's specific for iPad Pro but I heard that iPad Pro and iPad Air, the case is the same essentially so I'm hoping that it fits. This is what the keyboard looks like. Oh wow, it is really magnetic. Um, and it has like the charging port on the side. And this is essentially where you stick the iPad. And I believe it's like that. Look at that. So that's, that's essentially the iPad. That is a beautiful, beautiful purchase. I'm so happy. Um, and I'm gonna go figure out <coughs> the Bluetooth part. Oh my gosh, I'm choking. Goodbye. It's my first day at the new hospital. I'm so lost. Literally don't know where I'm going. Two. I actually have to get to the hospital by seven. So right now it's 620. What's really nice is the sunset is kind of coming out. So I'll show you guys that when I get outside. I mean, you can't really see it, but you can see the Freedom Tower from here. So I'll show you guys that. Yeah, this is how close we are to the lower side of Manhattan. Hi guys, I got home today um, and now I'm studying because I have some extra time. But um, Joey, which is Tiffany's sister, and well, Tiffany told me this too. They really like this bakery that's near the hospital that I work at. So I decided to surprise them and bring something home because they were like raving about this specific item so i kind of wanted to see what the hype was but essentially it's this babka 
think this is what it looks like. Um, it looks really good, so I'm excited to try this. I've never had chocolate babka before, um, and it honestly looks really, really good. So I'm excited about that. I think I'm going to study for a little bit longer and then go take a shower and then start cooking for tonight because Tiffany and Joey are coming home late today. So I'm gonna try to get like all the food prepared and everything done by the time they get home so that they, they can just eat. And tomorrow is Thursday. I have to go into the hospital. Um, essentially my schedule is five days a week, seven, and I'm scheduled to four, but most of the times the residents will let us go a little bit early because they don't really have much for us to do so i try to stay there as long as possible and then once i feel like all the work is done then i go yeah i think friday i'm gonna go home because it's just nice to see my family once in a while but that's the plan for today it's really loud in here so i don't know if you can hear me but i'm currently washing Hey guys, so I just got home. I went thrifting again, once online, once in person, and I kind of wanted to show you guys what I got. This is a pair of dress pants from, it's from the Armani collection, and it's literally in, I feel like that's Italian. And there's also the real, real like tag on this, which I was very confused, like why it was there to begin with. This was only $8, so I feel like that's a pretty good steal. And then I also bought this dress on ThreadUp because my class is trying to plan a PA prom and I just wanted to like get a dress for it. It is by Birdie Gray. Tiffany got one of her um, bridesmaids dresses for her cousin's wedding from there. Um, but obviously I'm wearing it for different purposes, it's not for a wedding, but I just thought that the dress was really cute and it was also on sale. It's this like light dusty purple color. They call it lilac and it says that the style's name is Devin. It's like a V cut almost and you wear it on your shoulders like this and the arms kind of come through here so this is just like sitting on your arm but I need to hem this because it is super long. But what I do like about this dress is that there are pockets in here so I can put my phone. Now I'm gonna go work out a little bit, maybe shower, and then I'm gonna start studying because I haven't really studied that much this week. Good morning guys, I kinda wanted to show you the sunset, the sunrise because it looks really nice. Um, I just finished getting ready and in 10 minutes, I gotta leave the house and start heading to the train. Hi guys, I thought I would just update you because I have about 20 minutes before I have to hop on to a Zoom call with my coordinator from the hospital. But I got home before that, I went to Joe and the Juice, which you guys saw. I wanted to try the new, or like the tunicado sandwich just because everyone is raving about it and I have yet to try it. So because it was in the area, I just thought it would be a good idea. So I got that. It was really good. I, I like the flavor that it has. I think the pesto gives it a very distinct flavor and then also the like the bread i don't even know what you would call it it's like a panini kind of it's crunchy and it's not like too heavy which i really liked um but it's a decent size i would say it's about like this big so that kept me full but i wanted to go to trader joe's to pick up some things so food wise i bought spring mix um and then i always get these the elote corn chip dippers I also bought some protein bars because I go to the hospital so early now that I just don't eat when I get up. It's too early for me to eat and so what I'll do is I'll bring something 
with me and then after I round and I see the patients and I get back to the residence office where I'm looking at the labs and stuff like that I will eat my breakfast then so I just like to bring something that's easy to carry um, sometimes I'll make overnight oats with my oatmeal um, I'll put some fruit and some almond butter in it but I also like today I brought a cliff bar and then I wanted to get more bars so I got I really like these the bear bells um, protein bars so I already tried this flavor the cookies and cream one this one is probably one of my favorites so I got another one of these and then the second flavor that I got is caramel and cashew so hopefully this one is good um, and then I also bought these other bars they're called ABC bars from Trader Joe's obviously and it's an almond butter cocoa bar flavored with other natural flavors soft and chewy chocolatey dough with creamy almond butter filling I just kind of wanted something that was easy to grab on the go I think tonight I'm gonna try to make spam subi. Joey just left she's heading out to class now um, it's very late in the day so I'm not sure what time she's coming back but I'm gonna try to cook the rice while I am on the zoom call and then hopefully um, it'll end before like 5 30 or 6 so that I can start cooking I also kind of wanted to update you guys on how I'm doing at this hospital so this is my first medicine rotation if you don't know what that means it's kind of like you're in the hospital and it's very integrated so before i've had emergency medicine which is outpatient care and this is more so like you see the patient you stabilize them and then they go upstairs um and then eventually while they make their way upstairs to the floor that's essentially medicine and um it's just it's very complicated because a lot of these patients have multiple issues and then also you want to coordinate between different teams. So if you want to consult GI, if you consult ID, um, consult like Hemonc, whatever there is, like that's essentially what happens in medicine. And it's different for me because I have yet to see like interdisciplinary rounding um, and like rounding in general in my other rotations it was just more so like i would follow the doctor we would see the patients and then we'd be done for OBGYN, i rounded maybe once or twice but that was only if there was a, a patient that had like a c-section or a surgery the day prior and we wanted to make sure that they were ambulating okay and things like that I never really had the experience on like rounding on an entire floor, if that makes sense. So that was very different. Um, and then since I started last week, I have yet to present until today, which was very, very scary. But the intern that I'm working with, she kind of like walked me through the whole thing. And um, yeah, like her, the other residents and attending all said that i did a pretty good job for my first time so that's exciting that i'm learning and you know i'm only going to get better from here that was like monumental for today and then also in turn had me write her note her progress note because essentially i saw the patient so she wanted me to write it and she said that that would help me kind of formulate the assessment and plan as well as just like how everything flows since i'm putting it down onto paper um, so yeah, that's an update on what's happening for this rotation. I've seen some very like sick patients so far and a lot of the patients that we see in this like unit have some sort of hemonc background or like something along that for their diagnosis. So um, yesterday I was able to palpate splenomegaly because a patient had CLL and it was by far the craziest thing i've ever seen just because like we talk about it in school like we palpate for hepatomegaly splenomegaly organomegaly things like that but like when we're palpating obviously we feel nothing because it's not normal for your organs to be enlarged like that but this patient's spleen was so big it was below his rib cage and it honestly like i don't know what i'm feeling but if you compare it to like the rest of his abdomen, the rest of his abdomen is soft. And this was just very like large 
and hard and it was like you knew that was not normal 